Hello good day viewers, still on NACO 2024 Mathematics Examination Objective Questions. In this tutorial, we are going to solve question number 21 down to 25. And question number 21 reads, Find u in terms of f and v in the relation 1 divided by v equal to 1 divided by f minus 1 divided by u. This is simply saying we should make u the subject. Alright, since this contains u, let us take it to the left hand side. As negative 1 divided by u crosses over, it becomes positive 1 divided by u. This is equal to, already we have 1 divided by f to the other side. As this goes to the other side, it becomes negative 1 divided by v. Alright, let us simplify the right hand side first. Um, you take v and multiply it by 1. That will give us v minus, because of this minus sign, f multiplied by 1, that is f, divided by the product of f and v, that is f v. This is equal to 1 divided by u. Alright, since we are looking for u, not 1 divided by u, we can take reciprocal of both sides. Once we take reciprocal of 1 divided by u, it becomes u divided by 1. Right? Simply switch numerator and denominator. So u divided by 1 is simply u. We do the same thing to the other side. Take this one down and take this up. We have fv divided by v minus f. And hence, we have just expressed u in terms of v and f. As simple as that. Now let us move on to question number 22. Question number 22, we ask to find the quadratic equation whose roots are negative 1 and 5. Alright, um, it is as simple as taking x squared, then you subtract, uh, you add these two together. Once you add negative 1 and 5, you're going to get 4. Then you attach x, then you multiply them together, that is this times this, that will give us negative 5. Then you set everything to be equal to 0, and hence this is the quadratic equation with these two roots. But let me just give you the formula. It is x squared minus sum, sum of roots multiplied by x plus product, meaning you should multiply them together. Then you set everything to be equal to 0, and you're good to go. Then question number 23, the product of two numbers is 40, and their sum is... 13, we ask to find the numbers. You should know that you are dealing with objective questions, so no one will see your solution. And hence, if you have any shortcut of solving a problem, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, since we are talking about product, two numbers you can multiply together to get 40. And once you add them together, you get 13. You definitely know that the two numbers must be what? 8 and 5. 8 and 5. And hence, this is said to be the solution to this problem. But suppose it is a theory question where you have to show working. Let me show you how to do that. You can just pick two values like um, x and y. So if you multiply x and y together, you get 40. And once you add them together, you get 13. This is what the question is saying. Two numbers, which we have declared to be x and y, their product is 40, their sum is 13. This implies that x is equal to 13 minus y by making x the subject and you can simply plug in this equation into this one wherever you have x you replace it with 13 minus y so for this x we have 13 minus y then multiply by the y which is equal to 40 right so we expand y times 13 is 13 y minus y times y which is y squared equal to 40 then we take every single term to the right hand side once negative y squared crosses over it becomes y squared once 13 y crosses over it becomes negative 13 y we already have 40 there and everything equal to zero now you just think of two numbers you can multiply together to get 40 but once you add them together you get negative 13 and the numbers are negative 8 and negative 5 so we have y minus 8 and y minus 5. This is equal to 0. By setting each factor to be equal to 0, we have y minus 8 equal to 0, or y minus 5 equals 0. 
which implies that y is equal to e to y equal to 5. So y is either equal to e to y equal to 5. But remember, we have a value of x, which we have declared to be uh, 13 minus y. So you have x to be equal to 13 minus the first y, which is 8, which is going to give us what? 5, right? So this is when when y is equal to 8 and uh, when y is equal to 5 because we have two values x will be equal to 13 minus 5 which is equal to 8 so uh, in both cases when the first value is 8 the second value will be 5 and when the first value is 5 the other one will be 8 you know this is commutative they are interchangeable so the only values we have are 8 and 5. These are the two values you can multiply together to get 40 and once you add them together you get 13. Let us move on to question number 24. Question number 24. If x plus 6 is a factor of x squared plus 4x minus 12, we are asked to find the other factor. Remember I told you that this is objective questions. No one needs to see your solutions and hence if you have any other alternative that will make your work easier and faster. You can always apply that idea. So for me, I would like to factorize this directly because I know I am going to obtain this factor and the other one. So two numbers you can multiply to get negative 12, but the moment you add them together, you get 4. Uh, the numbers are 6 and negative 2. And therefore, x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to x plus 6 multiply by x minus 2 because the moment you take negative 2 you multiply by 6 that will give you negative 12 and once you add them together you're going to get 4 and hence since this is given to us the other factor we are looking for is x minus 2 therefore the other factor the other factor is x minus 2 but in case of theory questions what they want you to do here is to carry out long division, uh, which we can do like this. You plug in x squared plus 4x minus 12 here and our factor x plus 6 here. Then you start dividing. You take the first term, you divide by the first term here. So x can go into x squared exactly x times. Then you take x, you multiply by x. That will give us x squared. You take x, you multiply by 6. That is going to give you 6x. Then you subtract. x squared minus x squared is 0. Then 4x minus 6x is negative 2x. Negative 2x. Then you drop down negative 12. Then you repeat the same process. Take x and plug it into negative 2x. That will give you negative 2. Then negative 2 times x. That is negative 2x. Then negative 2 multiplied by 6. That is negative 12. You subtract again. Once you subtract, you're going to get 0 exactly. So you can see the other factor here, x minus 2, which we obtained initially. Now let us move on to question number 25. Question number 25, we're asked to calculate the midpoint of the line joining uh, the point 8, negative 3 and negative 2, 3. x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This will be the point, the midpoint connecting these two points. So if we should consider this one as x1, this will be x2. So let's add them together. We have 8 plus minus 2, which is just 8 minus 2, divided by 2, comma. And this will be y1, this is y2. We have negative 3 plus 3 divided by 2. 8 minus 2 is 6, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0, and 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So this is the point we are looking for.